They are going to play their version of a Japanese surf interpretation of Beethoven's Fifth Symphony. It's called Unmei. Please welcome the California Guitar Trio to the Woods Songs, Old Time Radio. California Guitar Trio. There's guitar players all over the world tuning in, and I can hear the sounds of their guitar cases locking shut <laughs> as they're being shoved into the... It's almost like having three Tommy Emanuels on stage. <laughs> Let's say hi to Hideo Moria on playing uh, those fast surf-like leads. Paul Richards, Burt Lambs. Great players all. Paul, let's talk about the, uh, if, you, if, you, if you don't mind, the, the inception of California Guitar Trio, how you guys met each other, how you came to form this musical idea. Well, the uh, California Guitar Trio was actually formed in Los Angeles, California, back in 1991, but none of us are California natives. Hmm. Bert is actually originally from Belgium. I'm from Utah, and Hideo is from Chibiken, Japan. The three of us met in the late 80s on a Robert Fripp guitar craft course in England. <laughs> so we studied with Robert Fripp for several years and then Bert invited the three of us to move into his tiny little home in the Hollywood area and that's where we formed the California Guitar Trio. So how did you know that you guys liked each other enough to <laughs> form a band? But in England we were all living in this house in the English countryside called the Red Lion House. It was us and like 20 other guitar players all piled in this, this old house and so we had a pretty good idea at that point if, if we liked each other or if not. If you could survive that, you could exactly. survive, survive anything. Well, uh, Bert, I mean, from, from Belgium, now you're living in, in Pennsylvania. I mean, was it hard for you to, li to, to leave your home country in order to uh, stay focused on uh, the music with California Guitar Trio? Well, it was such a different world to meet uh, Paul and Hideo and coming from a classical background and teaching classical guitar in uh, Belgium. It was a, a very different adventure to play with those guys. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you did. Now, Hideo still lives in Tokyo. 
He commutes for every tour. Uh, <laughs> that's a long commute, isn't it? I mean, he, he's very shy, so he's not going to step up to the uh, to the uh, to the mic. But he's an amazing guitar player. That is. Just <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, let's do a little a little bit of bragging on you guys because I want the audience to know that your uh, music was featured in 1998, 2000, 2002, and 2004 on the Olympics. It's been featured on major uh, TV networks, and you guys got flown in the uh, NASA Space Shuttle Endeavor. Well, not you, but your music. Yes, got to, so you're in outer space somewhere. Yeah, we have some friends that work at NASA that have become big California Guitar Trio fans. And they used our music to wake up the astronauts on the spaceship Endeavor. Well, I can I can understand. <laughs> <laughs> now, a lot of musicians are out there. They're going to listen to you guys, and you you play as a unit so tight, no click track. You're just following each other's instincts. I mean. Was there a lot of rehearsal that got involved with this, or is, there some, is this just something that you by instinct lock into? There was a lot of rehearsal that uh, has gone on. I mean, we, all three of us lived together firstly in this house in England and practiced with metronomes on a daily basis. And then when we moved to Hollywood in, in Bert's house that was living in Los Angeles at the time, we were rehearsing pretty much constantly, rehearsing and playing as many concerts as we could because mm -hmm. both of those were things that were important to us that obviously playing in front of people was the the thing that brought the music to life now in in the in the early days i mean when you say you were playing concerts were they were they small gigs coffee houses bars and clubs or did you jump straight onto the concert scene uh, the, the first concert that we played in los angeles was at a place called the natural fudge cafe <laughs> and this is one of those places in los, los angeles that's called the pay to play system mm -hmm. They, they required us to purchase, a, I think, 30 or 40 tickets in order to play at this venue, and I think we sold 10 of them. So we had 10 people in the audience that night. <laughs> so not everybody starts out as a rock and roll star. No. It takes a lot of work. Well, let's get, let's get into your...